Hello, I'm Tatashi, and today I'm going to spoil VTubers fun by talking about this new and hip thing that's been slowly kind of getting attention that a lot of VTubers aren't really talking about, and it is Bikubot. Have you been seeing a lot of VTubers have kind of a stream companion or a PNG image that talks back to chat or interacts with the VTuber? Well, I got news for you, it's Bikubot. In order to get Bikubot, you need to go to their Patreon, which I'll probably provide the link below. And then you want to come down to their Tier 3 to get Alpha Access. What you'll do is you'll enter their Discord after you pay for the, the Patreon. You'll access their Alpha section. You'll be able to download the program. And then the next thing you'll be able to download that I recommend is going to be an OBS plugin called OBS WebSocket because that's what the program is going to be used in OBS to get the bot to work. Once you get those programs both downloaded, uh, I think with OBS WebSocket, you can either put it into your plugins folder or you can just download the EXE and just run the EXE and it'll do that for you. Once that's done, you're gonna need to have OBS opened. This is a duplicate version of OBS so we can talk about the program. And then you're gonna need BikuBot to be open. You want to come down to your set settings section first, and you want to come down to modulars. Sound settings, you want to pick like whatever you use for your audio to hear, so like headphones or speakers. I'm using, of course, the Wavelink program, so I have it set to my headphones. The next important thing is going to be text-to-speech. You need to pick a channel of audio for the voice to go out for stream. If you use like a Go XLR, or in my case, I use Wavelink, I've made it the special effects section on the program. If you don't have uh, an audio mixer type program, uh, just fiddle around with your Windows audio settings to find a way to make the audio source uh, its own separate thing away from your game audio and your microphone volume, I guess. I digress. Anyway, which way, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to Twitch accounts. You're going to go to your streamer account. You're going to log in. And then if you have like a bot account, uh, you can log into that as well. I don't use a bot account, so I just have that filled in twice. Your OBS connection will actually connect to your WebSocket. Once you have the WebSocket installed, what you'll do is come over to Tools, WebSocket Service Settings. It will pop this up. Make sure you enable it, and then bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. If it is not working, your WebSocket is not working, what you'll do is you'll see down here in the bottom left, OBS will be read out. Usually, the other two options will be green the moment you boot up. However, if OBS is red, it means it's not connected to OBS. You want to disconnect and reconnect again. Once you get that all situated and it's set up and they're all green to go, back up the bot just once in case of emergencies. And then also, if you want to import the bot somewhere else, you have that backup to get you going. OBS. You want to pick a PNG that is transparent and you want to create a open mouth and a closed mouth. So for example, we're going to do a test. Sushi. That is what your what the goal is, is you want it to have the open and close. So what you're going to do is right now ignore all these scenes right here as they're embedded jokes on stream. You're only going to need the two images and then you're going to hit the plus symbol. You're going to come out to audio output capture. I already have Bongo's voice set up because Bongo Cat is our mascot. So what we're going to do is create audio output again. It's going to give you a device. It's set to default. Go ahead and select, like for me, the Wavelength Special SFX section. You're going to select wherever you sent that audio channel to. And then you're going to hit OK. And then just make sure you label it, you know, the voice. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add on top of that uh, audio output a filter. So you're going to go ahead and click on filters. That is located over here or you can just right click and then click filters. That's what I do. And then I already have this set up, but what you'll do is you'll click the plus symbol at the bottom left, or you can click right click and then add. Audio move is what you are looking for. You want two audio moves. You want one named open and one named close. In these sections, what you'll need to do is magnitude, easing, two, threshold, two. 
The reason why you have it set to two seems to be the most common thing for the bot to really work with. Seems to work out pretty well, but your mileage may vary. The next section is gonna get a little bit more complicated as it's gonna be different between the two. Actions, source visibility, scene. Whatever scene you put the bot in, for example, I put the bot in Bongo TTS. Source, open will be open, Close will be close. Threshold action. Enable over and disable under for open. For close, what you will do for threshold action is enable under and disable over. Just make sure your scene is set to TTS. Your source is set to close. So again, you'll have almost the exact same thing as open, but the differences are just the scene and sources being the opposite. And then you want the enable under and disable over to work. That's how you get to flip between the two scenes. So once that has been set up, you are good on this end of OBS. Let's go back to the bot. To get all this, what you'll do is you'll come over to your trigger section. We have commands, timers, and points. Now points or channel points dedicated for Twitch affiliates. If you are not affiliate, I do apologize. That is the rules. You will not have access to the section. However, to do this tutorial, we will do commands. If you've done mix it up before, it is almost the exact same way of setting up a command. However, it's a little different. But once you learn something like this, you can put it into timers and you can put it into points. So your mileage may vary going further into this uh, tutorial. So what you'll do is you'll hit this plus symbol up here, create new one. You gotta name the trigger, exclamation point, bot. And then you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need OBS controls. It's gonna be set automatically to source visibility. You're gonna select your scene, which is your TTS scene. So Bongo TTS. You're gonna select your source, which is gonna be Bongo Open. Next thing up, you're gonna select pause. Pause for two seconds. This is this is uh, Ananas me like pretty good um, for getting it to start to open its mouth. Seems to be at two. Um, if you have a pause, no more than five seconds, I would say, in between it talking, uh, no more than a second if you want it to speak really fast. However, the next section you'll need is gonna be the text-to-speech section. Now, user message is gonna be what the chat person redeems points for and sends a message to the bot for. However, for the sake of brevity, we're gonna have the bot do a custom message. So for example, we're gonna do, it's gonna say hello. I recommend the volume all the way up to 100 so it can beat out your game audio and your voice on stream, but your mileage may vary again with the volume that you want to set it to. Uh, to test out, for example, the bot talking, you'll have a little uh, play button right here or even up here right by the save button is a test button. Uh, you'll just hit that button and then of course, hello, it will do that. Next thing up is once it's done talking, you wanna select OBS controls again, and then you want the reverse of it to make to ensure that it will have the closed screen on when it's done talking. So even though we just did that test and it showed that its mouth was closed, we wanna make sure it stays closed afterwards. So to test out the whole thing, we're gonna hit the test button. It will go through everything. Hello. There you go. And that's it, Set it resets. But let's say you wanted to do a little bit more. So grab another TTS real quick. Custom message. We'll do people. So we'll hit the test button again and I'll show you what that does. Hello, people. So I usually recommend splitting up sentences a bit. You'll see later on in some of my custom commands that the sentence structure gets a little blurry because I use live from Norwegia, Norwegian. Uh, it seems to be pretty funny for stream, uh, however reason Brian, but uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, the next section is going to be this little yellow and green 
Uh, green will, means it will play at the exact same time as the next message. So for example, hit play. Hello. He plays them both at the same time. But if you want them to do it in a chain command kind of a thing, like I showed you before, it's going to be pause yellow, and then it will just play hello first, then people second. Once you get this down, then you'll be good to like make other commands, channel points, and like timers. So we're going to dive in a couple of them that I have. So for example, I have a command for people to use, which is uh, Bapple, which is... If you spell up the sauce. There you go. And it will just, it will say that. That's all it does for that. So let's talk about some other stuff. For example, I have cold snacks. So what it will do is say sushi and then in chat, it will do a chat response. And then I have it set up to a kind of uh, giving snacks to people because we have a snack emote. Uh, you would just grab the emote's name that you've, your custom emote from Twitch, and then you would put it in, and then you would have it, like I spammed it, but then it will, after it's, after close, it will actually put that in chat. Uh, another option we have is, I don't know, we don't have it under that one, it would have been vote. But that, that's how I would set up options. Uh, so vote, for example, what it will do is go through this. Tateshi, hvor liker jo to vote for games som stream. Strapo link below. Ve er games poll. Noen ve er games poll. So when it says VR games poll and non VR games poll in chat, it would play the straw poll for both of them. So. That's how I have that set up. So, timers, this is a good chance to talk about timers. Timers, what you'll do is name the timer and then you have to put your minutes into seconds. I don't know why they do that, but I have it set up like that. So, I mean, I could do minutes. However, I just do seconds because a lot of the times there's a lot of chain reaction stuff going on during stream. So, I have it set up like that. You can set it to minutes and do minutes, but I just, I have it set up to seconds because I'm weird. But what it will do is once you design the timer, it will go off at a certain time during your stream and it will read the prompt. For example, I have this one that I, people find controversial. I have a lurker one, which is not to call out lurkers, but it's just like a PBS. Lurkosh. So that's what it basically does is like once in a while it will like say that for lurkers. So um, it's like a thank you message for people that come by to lurk. Uh, my chat likes it. They enjoy hearing the thank you. It's not, They don't feel like they're being called out and they don't feel ashamed about it. But they enjoy the fact that like I'm saying thank you. Because that's, I don't, I don't know. People just don't like being called out. Got that. But also, at the same time, I, I, it's just saying thank you. Uh, now, let's move on to channel points. Channel points is very straightforward. We'll do... Uh, we'll do Pikachu Surf. Pikachu Surf is pretty straightforward. You'll set it up just like you would on a regular Twitch ch uh, channel point setting. Um, I have it limited to five, five uses. The description of it, enable to cooldown, enable limits. What it will do is have the open, two seconds says word close one second opens again surf close one second open have surf go off the the alert presence i have i had to actually move it recently off of the tts because i've changed the size of bongo cat but i've moved it to alert now to fill up the screen it's supposed to be like an on-screen thing so you turn that on surfs up turn off the Bongo Cat's voice, you stop it, and then three seconds hold, and then it's off, and then the wave turns off. So here's how it looks. Ufuk. Pikaku sad surf. Surf's up. So there you go. Now that that's what it's supposed to look like. So that's what it would be for channel points. Once people redeem it, that's how it would show up on stream. 
Um, but that's pretty much it for this section on learning how BicoBot works. This is only the alpha build of it. Um, there's also a hate raid option as well to like just like keep people from attacking the bot, for example. Uh, this is still new to me. I I don't know how to use this section yet. I'm used to just setting it up other ways. Um, there should be a tutorial in their Discord section. However, if you enjoyed me rambling on for uh, 16 minutes or such, please let me know in the comments below if there's any other things you guys want me to take a look at through BikuBot. And then also, uh, thank you so much for uh, supporting. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Love each other, and we are always streaming on Twitch. Thank you so much for the support.